Hello everyone, we're coming to you here from New Hope Fertility Clinic with Dr. John Zong and Mike Berkeley. And today's topic is FSH and how that affects a woman's ability to conceive. Uh, Dr. Zong, let's start with you. First of all, do you treat women here at New Hope Fertility Clinic that have an elevated FSH level? And uh, tell us a little bit about that and your philosophy around FSH. Thank you. Yes, of course, in New Hope Fertility Center we treat many patients with elevated FSH. But before even we get into the topic of do we treat or how do we treat the high or elevated FSH, let's give a clear definition of what do we mean elevated FSH. Now different to the center, different physicians, different definition of who have elevated or not elevated FSH. Uh, in the textbook, in the previous publication, generally doctor will believe when the day three FSH at uh, higher than 15 international units per ml is considered elevated FSH. As a matter of fact, uh, many, many professional journals and uh, recommendation even recommend if FSH higher than 15, regardless of the patient's age, should be strongly recommended to undergo donor egg IVF. But in our center and in many, many modern uh, infertility centers, we all believe the FSH higher than 58 is considered as elevated FSH. We see numerous patients that conceived had a live birth, not once or twice in our clinic, with FSH around 39 to 48. So I think only talk about elevated FSH is not uh, accurate enough. We really have to take a patient's age into strong consideration. As long as a patient age less than 39 years or younger with an elevated FSH, however, with a regular menstrual period, and generally speaking, they have a very good chance to conceive have life births. Excellent. Michael, do you have any um, at all? Excellent. First of all, that's really fascinating and groundbreaking and rather unique, and I, I commend you for your work in this area. So I, I just want to express my feelings about FSH as well. Um, Previously, FSH was connected with poor egg quality. And actually, new science uh, speaks to the fact that if a woman has elevated FSH but uh, has a good um, quantity of oocytes retrieved, she has just as much a chance of conceiving as women in the normal uh, population with normal FSH levels. So actually, um, from my experience and in my opinion, FSH is really not a marker necessarily for egg quality in as much as it's a marker for ovarian reserve. And as a result of that, as a, as a result of being an acupuncturist and a practitioner of Chinese herbal medicine, what I find is that by treating patients, frequently the FSH is lowered. Now our objective is not to lower FSH. FSH is not a problem, it's a symptom of a problem. But what we find that by lowering the FSH, it's an indication that egg quality can be improved. And the whole uh, mantra, if you will, about successful um, conception is we need one good egg and one good sperm. So as Dr. Zong indicated so astutely, as long as a patient has a regular menstrual cycle, even if their FSH is elevated, through the use of acupuncture and herbal medicine, we can improve egg quality sometimes and reduce the FSH, which indicates a qualitative improvement in the eggs, which helps to help uh, an IVF center uh, do better work because they're working with better quality material. And I, I also just want to end this by saying, um, if patients would like to get in touch with doctors on, um, what is your website? Our website is uh, newhopefertilitycenter.com. And what is your phone number, Dr. Zong? 212-517-7676. Uh, and I'm Mike Berkeley, the founder and director of the Berkeley Center for Reproductive Wellness. Our website is berkeleycenter.com, B-E-R-K-L-E-Y-C-E-N-T-E-R. -E -E and our phone number is 212-685-0985. Thank you again so much for watching. And Dr. Zong and I will be doing a series of these talks on different disorders that contribute to infertility, but with the hopeful message 
of how these disorders can be treated and successfully overcome. Yeah. So I think uh, in the, our next series, we can spend some time to discuss with uh, everybody regarding uh, yeah. to discuss.